<laughs> oh, let's see how many subscribers I lose with this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So I try to take things going on, you know, in the news, in pop culture, and try to teach you how to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So, real quick rant. Like, as much as I try to teach you guys not to care what people think, like, I do care. I care and I don't care at the same time. It's really weird how our brains work, right? But, you know, with all of the Shane Dawson content I've done, like, I'm, I'm worried that a lot of you are gonna think I'm a one-trick pony, and I'm not. I'm not, because everything I look at, everything I see, I'm like, what can we learn from this? What can we take from this? Right? So today, rather than using YouTubers as an example, I'm gonna use the relationship between the United States and Saudi Arabia to talk to you about toxic relationships. How cool is that? So. I might lose some subscribers depending on which side of the aisle you're on, but I would ask that you sit in this with an open mind and just kind of look at this because what I try to do with all these videos is just try to make it relatable. Like there's so many things we can look at and be like, oh wow, this is something that's actually going on in my life in a different way. I plan on doing a whole video explaining why my brain works the way it does because there were some moments in my life that turned me into who I am and why I make this content. So anyways, we're a minute and a half in and I'm just babbling. So, for those of you who don't know what's going on, like catch up, I'm gonna link to Philip DeFranco's video from Friday um, about what's happening with Saudi Arabia and um, this journalist uh, Khashoggi. Um, and sorry, I haven't memorized everybody's name who's who are part of this story. But real quick, like if you want more in-depth information on it, watch the Philip DeFranco episode. But anyways, um, this is a journalist from uh, originally from Saudi Arabia. He moved to you know uh, I think Turkey. He came back to get a divorce from his wife. He ended up missing. Pretty much, he he got he got murdered and in a very brutal way. And this has been an inter national story for the last week, two weeks, you know, since his disappearance. And, you know, like watching this right now, like, well, throughout this entire thing, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, man, Donald Trump in the United States is getting abused by Saudi Arabia. Also, Trump today when speaking with reporters said he was not satisfied with Saudi Arabia's explanation, but also saying at the same time, he quote, doesn't want to lose all the investment that's being made in our country. I don't want to lose a million jobs. So what I'm, what I'm seeing is that, you know, Donald Trump is refusing to believe the truth, right? He's refusing to believe the truth and he keeps saying, you know, he doesn't want to do anything like any kind of sanctions too hardcore with Saudi Arabia because their investments in the United States. They buy so much in military weapons. They give us so much money. They they they, they uh, help us create more jobs and all of that. And like, I want you to think about, I want you to think about like, have you ever been trapped in a relationship where the your partner or it could even have been a friend. They were clearly abusive, like emotionally or mentally, but you didn't want to leave because you would have lost something. And and especially like monet monetary things, right? Or things that you can like hold, you know? It's not the love and support that you, you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss the house, or you're gonna miss the clothes, or you're gonna miss the, the, the TV or the car or whatever it is. Like, have you ever been afraid to leave a relationship because of these financial things that you might lose? Like, how many people are stuck in an abusive relationship, sometimes they even a physically abusive relationship, they won't leave because how am I gonna pay my bills? Where am I going to live, right? So their priority, you know, is, you know, obviously like food and shelter and things like those need to be a top priority because we need that stuff to survive. But the fear keeps us in a bad situation. Like here's something that you all gotta understand about humans. And I talk a lot about anxiety and evolutionary psychology and all that stuff. We are survivors, okay? As a species, we are built, we have evolved to survive. You put humans in a corner, we are going to survive. 
That's what we're gonna do. Like, I ain't afraid of no Independence Day scenario happening and aliens coming to the Earth. Like, we will figure some stuff out. So, like, this is why, like, you know, some of us have to look at the relationships that we're in. So, when it comes to this, like, basically, with some of the new stories that have been coming out, um, yeah, like, there, there's the new story that Saudi Arabia is giving us is that Khashoggi, who's like a 50 something year old man, went into the, you know, the, con the, the consulate and he like started a brawl with like these like trained assassin people and it just got a little heavy and Khashoggi ended up dying. Like who in their right mind would believe that? And then there's also reason to believe that the prince knew all about this as well, right? But Donald Trump is denying this. He's denying to see it. He has this, uh, this these rose colored glasses on to pretend like there's no way this can happen. But on Saturday in an interview with the Washington Post, we saw him seemingly criticize Saudi Arabia, saying, obviously there's been deception and there's been lies. Their stories are all over the place. But, like, have you ever been loyal to a fault because of these things? Like, you neglect the bad things that people are doing. I don't know why this came to mind. Are any of you Breaking Bad fans? If you are, like this video. But anyways, like, for example, when Walter White's wife found out about what he was really doing, you know, she just got pulled into it. You know what I mean? And like, how often do we do that? Like I, you know, working in the drug and alcohol addiction treatment field for a few years, I see countless times where a woman is pulled back into, you know, the drug game because uh, her man is a dealer. I've seen the same thing where guys are pulled back into the drug game because their girl is a dealer, right? So like, we're afraid to lose these things. And a lot of it has to do with our money, you know, or we're not gonna have the things and all of that. Like, I always try to tell you to like, check in with your value system, check in with your your value system like what is what is more important to you like your mental and emotional well-being or stuff right like when i figured out a long long time ago that stuff wasn't nearly as important as my mental health my life got so much better you guys i can't tell you i can't you know what screw it i got time i'm gonna tell you i was working at a job where i was making six figures plus right in the automotive industry i hated it i hated it so much it was stressful it was killing me it's when my alcoholism spiraled out of control i would come home every day miserable and drink my problems away but i couldn't leave that job because it paid me so well right well now i make less than half of what I used to make, and I am the happiest dude you will ever meet, okay? So we have to overcome these fears. We have to get out of these toxic relationships. We have to believe in ourselves. We have to believe in our support group. Like, if you are stuck in a toxic relationship right now, and you're worried about like, well, I can't leave him, or I can't leave her because they pay my bills. Screw it. Go go on, you know, go get some food stamps until you can get a job and get on your feet, right? Or, oh, I can't leave them because I use their car. Okay, well get a bus pass. You know, like, I'm sorry, like, I gotta preach some truth to you. Like, there's nothing worse than staying in a toxic relationship just because this person is providing these things because they will take advantage of that, right? And like, some of you, that's your friends. Like, I've had friends in the past where they were just complete, complete a-holes, but I kept hanging around with them and kept going out with them, why? Because they bought us drinks, or they would buy me dinner, or they would like take me to concerts, or you know, whatever, all these other things. Like, this is why I try to empower all of you to develop this internal locus of control. I don't need anybody now, I don't need, because I am fully self-supporting, right? So like, there's this balance that we have to find between you know, asking for help and not relying on people at the same time. So like, when I, when I need help, like, I don't expect anything. So that's a whole balancing act with your expectations. And I hope that's making sense. And if you have questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. But I hope this is all making sense because you might be in a toxic relationship with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife. Maybe you're in a toxic relationship with your parents. Oh, let's talk about parents real quick. A lot of you are some of my younger audience and I've seen this in the comments below. You are living, you are living with your mom or your dad who verbally abuses you on a day-to-day -day basis, but you're worried about not having a house where you're living rent-free. You see what I mean? Like, think about this give and take that we give. Like, go move into a studio apartment. Go find some friends. Like, bunk up. Have two, three people in a bedroom. I don't care. Like, the verbal abuse and emotional abuse is not worth it. It's never worth it. So in my like, you know, uh, to wrap this up, like in the situation with Saudi Arabia, yeah, 
Yeah, like, if we cut ties with them, yeah, we wouldn't have as much money coming in. If we cut ties with them, yeah, we'd probably lose some jobs. But when that happens, then it opens up the opportunity to create new relationships with other people, create different jobs. You see what I'm saying? So like, I don't know, like, I just really hope that you guys really start trying to see what I'm trying to do with my channel. I want you to look at everything, everything. And rather than looking at the differences, look at the similarities, right? It's really easy for us to sit back and watch the news and say, huh, that has nothing to do with me. Like, if we can start to train our brains to see the similarities between us and other people, between us and other news stories and situations, you know? Like, if we can train ourselves to do that, we can constantly learn, constantly grow, and improve our mental and emotional well-being. And man, I am on fire today. This wasn't even the other video I had planned, but I was just watching, I was watching Philip DeFranco, and I'm like, you know what? I gotta make another video. So that's exactly what I did, all right? So anyways, let's do this down in the comments below. Let me know your experience. Like, have you stayed in a relationship way too long where you were, um, you know, in a toxic relationship, but you stayed in it because they were providing you with things, whether it was, you know, a house or a car or taking you out or whatever it is. Like, let me know. And let me know down in the comments if you're still struggling with it. Because if you are, by the way, go check out some of my videos on setting up boundaries, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel as well, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.